Okay guys, I wanted to share with y'all these books that I just bought from Amazon. So my favorite author is Gloria Naylor. And Gloria Naylor is the woman who wrote the book, Women of Brewster Place. And that book was turned into like the mini series with Oprah, Lynette McKee, and a whole bunch of other folks that I can't really remember their names right now. But Women of Brewster Place was Gloria Naylor's first novel and she won an award for that. Who wins an award on their first novel? Like, I can't believe that that was her first novel. But anyways, so I bought these books from Amazon and they came from like different bookstores and I bought the books used. So I don't really want to touch the books, you know, because you know, germs and COVID and they are used books. So other people have read them, touched on them and sneezed on them and stuff like that. So I'm going to open up these books here and I'm going to like wipe them down with some alcohol pads and then I think I'm going to call it a night because I'm pretty tired. It's like 10 something right now or about to be 10 o'clock and I'm tired. You know, my bedtime is pretty early, but I still need to edit, so I probably actually won't go to sleep. But I just want to open this up with you guys and show you guys what it looks like. They're books, so, you know, there's nothing too exciting there, but I love books. I don't like, like, the Kindles and e-readers and stuff like that. Like, I don't like that. I like to turn pages and stuff like that. I wanted all hard covers, but I couldn't find the hard covers. So I had to get soft covers or paperback covers. So I pretty much bought all of her novels. I think I pretty much bought all of them. Oh look, and the very first one that I pull out is Women of Booster Place. I love the movie, like the mini series. I love, love, love that mini series. My favorite characters in that miniseries are, in the book, their chapter is called The Two. Okay, so it was the lesbian couple, T and Lorraine. Those scenes are like my favorite scenes when they're in there. Mainly because I love Lynette McKee. Like Lorraine, I love her. I love all, every movie she's ever done. Like I pretty much loved it. Except for, I think it's a movie called, she was in called The Cotton Club. I didn't really too much, I, I ain't even seen it. I, I'm not even really interested in watching it, but Brewster's Millions, I love that movie. Which Way Is Up, I love her. Her and Richard Pryor, like they are a key together. Like they are so funny together. But Which Way Is Up, I absolutely love that movie. Um, Sparkle, I love that movie. Even though she, her character wasn't very bubbly and lively, I loved her in that. I love her music. I just love, I just love Lynette McKee. Women of Brewster Place is the first one. Actually, it's the second one because one had came already and I opened it and cleaned it and started reading it. So this one is called Bailey's Cafe. Now the reviews on Bailey's Cafe, it was like people were saying that it was confusing um, because I guess it's not a lot of quotes, you know, to show that people are talking to each other and then it doesn't really specify who's talking in the scene. This is the other book that I have bought, Linden Hills. And if you've seen Women of Booster Place, you've heard them use Linden Hills a lot in that. So y'all remember Kiswana, the um, college girl, but she moved to Brewster Place with her boyfriend, Abshu, and um, she changed her name to Kiswana. So, you know, her mom, when her mom came to visit, and her mama was Cicely Tyson. I believe Cicely Tyson was her mama in that movie. And she was saying, um, Kiswana was telling her mom, like, I'm not the one with the husband in real estate in a house in Linden Hills. Clearly, Linden Hills is an affluent community. And then T, when she was arguing with Lorraine, she was saying, I had to give up my beautiful apartment in Linden Hills. So that was the second reference of Linden Hills and Women of Brewster Place. So now this book gives me like the backstory of Linden Hills. And from what I'm reading, uh, yeah, Linden Hills was something else. It, 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 I'm gonna have to tell y'all about this book a little later because if I start talking about this book, I'll be talking forever and I've only read the first chapter. And I'm pretty confused, but hopefully, I'm pretty hopeful that the uh, the chapters coming will kind of like explain the first chapter a little because the first chapter was like wait what so this is the, the first book that i got linden hills i just showed y'all women of booster plays bailey's cafe and now i'm gonna open this one 
this one is called mama day from the looks of this right here it just gives me like supernatural type of stuff and i'm not a fan of like supernatural stories or supernatural movies like i really don't like the supernatural like that so i think this will probably be the last one that i read if there's no specific order which i don't think there's a specific order but i am gonna look up like you know when each book was published to see to read it in that order i've already read women of booster place and i know that story like the back of my hand so i don't need to read that one and that one was actually the first one in the series and then linden hills i think linden hills was the second one in this series so i think i'm reading them in order from that standpoint but as far as well bailey's cafe and mama day like i don't know about these two where they fall into you know if this is the third and fourth or the fourth and third like i don't know but i'm gonna find it out so pretty much since like i said i bought these books used i'm gonna take these alcohol wipes right here and i'm gonna just wipe the books down because you know we got the vid going on and all that type of stuff and i wish i can wipe down the pages but since they're paper you know it's paper i don't think i that would be a good idea to wipe it down so i'm just gonna take this wipe it down now look at the pages the pages look pretty good pages look good this one doesn't even this is used it looks so good it looks barely touched so that one's done That's Gloria. This one looks so good. Now I've already wiped this one down like I told you guys earlier and these pages look really good too but you can tell like someone was reading it because I don't know if you guys can see this highlighted portion right here. Um, I folded these pages like that because I like to fold pages so I can remember where I am in the book but this one actually looks like somebody read it. The whole book kind of looks you know worn and I like that it gives it character but the other ones look like nobody ever touched these like hey so okay guys that's it for this vlog i'm pretty darn tired i know you can see it in my eyes they look tired so i appreciate you guys for watching this vlog i know it was boring the majority of my life is boring um i don't really have much excitement going on and stuff because i'm trying to work towards things so you know my books buying my books reading my books that's fun for me recording my videos editing my videos that type of stuff is fun to me i do of course have a full-time job i don't really have much excitement and stuff going on and then it's too hot to be going outside so yeah when it starts to cool down outside i'll do more outside activities but right now if i'm gonna do a vlog it's pretty much gonna be boring like me and i like boring because boring keeps you out of trouble remember that young folk thank you guys for watching this vlog i appreciate you guys if you want to go ahead and like your girl's video you know no pressure or whatever i am going to be having a giveaway coming up soon it's going to be a cash app giveaway so i'm thinking right now i'm going to start off small and then work my way on up to something bigger with my subscribers you know go ahead and go on up every milestone i'm going let me take these gloves off every milestone I'm going to have a cash app giveaway. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because you have to be subscribed to my channel in order to participate in the giveaway, okay? Follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna put details about the giveaway on my Instagram page. And also tell a friend, share the video. You know, let them know that it's gonna be a cash app giveaway coming soon. Ha <laughs> ha! You guys like the video subscribe to my channel so you guys can participate in the giveaway and also just you know to just to support some good content i think i got good content even though it's boring i'm sure somebody out there like it and you know share it to your facebook page your instagram page all them other pages y'all got and you know who knows some one of them people might like my little boring self you know just you never know you never know 
one of your peoples might win the giveaway and they might, you know, break you off a little something, something. Who knows? But all right, y'all, I'm tired, clearly, because I'm rambling, and I get the rambling when I'm tired. So have a good night, you guys. Bye. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And y'all better answer y'all phone when I call y'all tomorrow, okay? Don't be trying to put me on do not disturb. Don't be trying to uh, ignore my call and all that. Answer your phone call when I call tomorrow, okay? Answer. Answer that FaceTime. Answer that, okay? Good night, y'all. Bye.